Kia ora koutou katoa, no mai hoki mai ki te UniQuest. Welcome to UniQuest, my name is Chris Hudiwai. This is Flatland Level 2. Today we're going to be focusing on a foundational skill for Flatland unicycling, bunny hopping seat in front. We're going to learn one of the first kind of legitimate tricks, a no footer, and we'll finish it off with the beginner stages of a 180 uni spin, the 180 uni spin jump mount. Let's go. As you'll notice, seat in front hopping is one of the foundational skills that you'll want to master if you want to practice Flatland tricks. Just like in the last episode where we practiced seat in front riding, you're going to be grabbing the seat in the same place, at the back of the seat like this, and your hand is going to be making contact with your leg to keep that stability. So we're trying seat in front bunny hops for the first time, grab onto your assistance and practice like that, but also what you might find easier than holding onto your assistance is actually bunny hopping with two hands like this, because it can be difficult when you're starting out to get the unicycle off the ground. As you can see, a lot, of the, a lot of the hopping power is coming from my knees, like that, and you want to be leaning over the seat a little bit extra, because the seat, is, the seat is in front of us and our body weight is naturally quite backwards behind us, you're going to have to be leaning over a little bit more like this. Two ways to practice seat in front bunny hops, mounting with the seat in front like this, practicing like that. Or if you want to start on your unicycle and then transition into seat and front hopping, you can practice bunny hopping on the spot like this. Then stand up straight legged like that, give yourself a little bit of extra height like that, and then pull your seat out in front like that. Grab it at the very back, hand in contact with your leg. If you're mounting your unicycle to practice this trick, you may find it difficult to stop the unicycle from moving like this. So what we're going to do is put our feet directly on the cranks. It should give you a bit more stability. The only problem now is you're going to have to figure out how to get your feet off the cranks back onto the pedals. I can do it like this, I just jump. No stress, no drama, nice and easy. But for a beginner, you're probably going to want to just slowly, bit by bit, slowly, slowly, slowly move your feet from the cranks. To master seat and front bunny hops, the principles are exactly the same as a regular bunny hop. Don't jump aimlessly. Don't just jump, 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 jump. If you feel like you're falling one direction, jump that way to correct yourself. And if you want to make things harder on yourself to work on your overall balance and your overall skill with this trick, try and jump slowly like this. Stay in one spot for a little bit, kind of still stand for a bit, and only jump when you need to. A couple fun things to try once you learn to seat in front bunny hop. Knee tucks like this. Try and see if you can touch the ground. Try and put your butt on the tire. And one that's really helpful for a trick that we're gonna learn in the near future, 180 uni spin dismount, just like this. Next up, no footer. Feel free to revisit the jump mount because it's gonna get you used to landing on both pedals at the same time. It's very important with this trick, no footer, that we're landing back on the pedals with both feet at the same time if you don't, you're going to hit your shins, it's not going to be a good time. So you really have to focus, boom, boom, both at the same time, not like this. One foot after the other, because then your unicycle is going to react like that. If you're worried about this trick, there are a few things you can do to make it less scary. Grabbing onto your assistance, getting some shin pads to protect yourself, and if you've got metal pedals, I would recommend switching them to plastics because they are a lot friendlier on your shins. As well, for this trick, it is a lot more difficult if your pedals are slippery, but if you have really grippy pedals, it can make it more difficult for you to actually get your feet off the pedals. A few different ways to do a no footer. Static on the spot, just like this. Bunny hopping, bunny hopping, and then no footer. Seat in front, no footer. Rolling no footer, so riding into it instead of bunny hopping. If you want to get fancy, you can go like this. One leg out the front, one out the back. Now I recommend no footers jumping up. Like that, not sideways. Because the upward no footer is really similar to a normal bunny hop. All the principles, pretty much the same thing. The only difference is that we're going to bunny hop, but we're going to leave the unicycle on the ground. So just like this, bunny hopping, bunny hopping, bunny hopping. Leave the unicycle on the ground and just bunny hop with your body and your feet. Try and keep the unicycle on the ground. The reason why we don't want to bring the unicycle up with us when we do our no-footer like this is because there's a higher chance 
of while you're in mid-air for your cranks, for your pedals to slightly go out of alignment. So if you keep your tyre in contact with the ground, nothing's going to move, you're going to know exactly where your pedals are, so you're not going to have to aim with your landing, you just have to return them to where they came from. And now we're going to start the process of learning a 180 uni spin. We're going to be learning a jump mount variation, the 180 uni spin mount. So there's a few different ways to do this. Landing seat in front, seat backwards like this. Or starting seat backwards, landing seat in like this. Landing seat in front, seat backwards is only going to be possible, obviously, if you can bunny hop seat in front. Bunny hopping seat in front like this. But if you can't do that, I recommend landing seat in and riding straight away instead of bunny hopping like this. Instead of like this, we're going to be like this. Straight into riding. For this video, we're going to focus on starting seat backwards, landing seat in. And this is what our hand positioning is going to look like. One hand at the front and one hand at the back. You're going to spin mainly with this front hand and then you're going to take it off like so. Now to simplify things, we're going to break it down into two stages, essentially turning it into a jump mount. Spin the unicycle and then jump, just like a jump mount. And then as you get more comfortable with spinning the unicycle, we're going to slowly reduce that gap in between the jump and the spin. So at the moment, it's spin, jump. Eventually, we want to get to the point where we jump and then spin like this. Jump, spin. So when you're just starting off, spin the unicycle and then jump. And then we're going to slowly, slowly make improvements on that. Start to turn the unicycle and then when it gets to about 90 degrees, jump. And finish the spin, just like that. 90 degrees, jumping, finish it off. Eventually, it should look like this. Ideally, you want to land on the pedals so you can ride away nice and clean. But if you're unable to do that because you're landing on the cranks, don't worry about it. Landing on the pedals and creating that smooth transition uh, can take a lot of time, a lot of hard work. So if you're landing on your cranks like this and then having to move your feet onto the pedals, don't worry. Uh, landing directly on the pedals is a skill that will come with time. If you're going to practice the 180 uni spin jump mount starting seat forwards, the main tip that I want people to focus on is switching your hand position in mid-air. Okay, so just like this, switching that hand over. If you don't switch your hand, this hand can restrict the unicycle from finishing the spin. Okay, often you'll see people do 180 uni spins and they won't change their hands and it looks kind of like this because the unicycle is restricted and can't complete that spin while that hand's still there. So try if you can, start with that hand on the back, we're going to spin the unicycle and then it's going to connect with the other hand like this. So here, there, land nice and solid with both hands right here. Normally when people do their first 180 uni spin jump mount, they start like this, seat forward, landing seat backwards like this. But now the problem is your seat's backwards you're going to have to get off and turn it around anyway. So to make this trick accessible for beginners, I recommend starting seat backwards so that when you get onto the unicycle, you can just ride away straight away. Ka nui tērā, that'll do for now. If you're struggling with the 180 uni spin, don't beat yourself up too much. It can be a very hard trick. There are a few things you can use to make it easier and less scary. Things like getting shin pads, trying the trick on grass, plastic pedals, things like that. As always, I'll leave the previous episodes for UniQuest down in the description below. And if you've been enjoying this series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We really appreciate it. And until next time, matewa.